What's up everybody, this is Stacktrace. I'm gonna show you how to download free beats from BeatStars on a Mac uh, using what's called Terminal. It's an application that's built into your app, into your Mac. Um, you do not have to be logged in to BeatStars. You don't have to be a member at all. Um, as you can see here in the top right corner, I'm not logged in, but I'm gonna show you how to run a command that can download potentially all of the free beats on any given day in BeatStars so you can quickly scan them, listen to them, and decide what you want to buy. So I'll show you the command here. So this is Terminal. And we're going to use what's called wget. So this is the actual command here. And I'll put this in the video description. But what we're saying is um, we're going to grab 100 free tracks. Um, people that have marked their tracks as free downloads. And um, so we're going to step through sequence 100, 101, 102, 103, all the way to 200. And we're going to get the file and we're going to name it with the number. So it'll be file number.mp3. And we're going to hit that, uh, that URL right there. So that's the command. And we'll go ahead and run it and see what happens here. So as you can see, um, it's stepping through these files and downloading them. And you could actually parallelize this and, and send a bunch of individual workers to download the files and it'd be a lot faster, but I'm just doing it in serial fashion. You can see some of these are failing and that's because some of them, since I'm just stepping through the sequence numbers, some of them are not free downloads, but most of them are. So I just control C to get out of there and then I list the files and you'll see these zero byte files, those are the ones that require authentication. And remember, I'm not authenticated. So you get authentication failed, ends up getting, giving you a zero byte file there. So those we don't really care about. We care about the ones that have size. So um, all the other non-zero ones are the ones that we're gonna, we're gonna work with. So you could search back in terminal up and, up and down um, to correlate the uh, file name with the um, producer if you wanted to, if you wanted to add the metadata. But in a lot of cases, um, the metadata is not there. So producers tag your beats and get the metadata in there. So to open these files, you just say open start.mp3 and it opens it right there in uh, iTunes for you. So you just click through the tracks and listen to what you want to listen to. And what I normally do is I'll rate the track um, in, with the rating column in iTunes or I'll mark it with a, a heart um, one thing I do want to show you is um, how to get the metadata out of the file if it's not coming into iTunes. Um, it should be coming into iTunes, but if you just want to look at the metadata in the files that you downloaded, um, this is the command you run. Um, so if you want to see that command, just pause the video. But you can see, like, you know, this track has 130 BPM. It was made in FL Studio 20. This was FL Studio 12, FL Studio 20, Logic Pro. Um, you can see what DAW they used. You can see what the BPM is. Um, some people, you know, they put a title and an artist at least. Well, that's good because it uh, makes it a lot easier for me. So um, some people put uh, website, you know, so good information to have. So tag your beats. This is why you tag your beat because if I have, you know, file 106 and I love that track, I have no idea who wrote file, file 106. So this is a great way for you to quickly scan hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of beats um, and decide what you want to buy. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, check out uh, the video description and uh, be sure to hit me up with any questions. Peace.